Beyond Human Limits, The Transformative Power of God. Today we delve into the profound truth found in Mark chapter 10 verse 27, where Jesus declares, Humanly speaking, it is impossible, but not with God. Everything is possible with God. Join me as we explore the transformative power of God that transcends human limits. Human Limitations and God's Possibilities Mark chapter 10 verse 27 Jesus looked at them intently and said, Humanly speaking, it is impossible, but not with God. Everything is possible with God. In this verse, Jesus acknowledges the inherent limitations of human effort. The phrase, humanly speaking, highlights our finite abilities and the impossibility of certain feats by our own strength. Jesus introduces a paradigm shift. Everything becomes possible with God. It's an invitation to recognize our dependence on the Almighty. A.W. Tozer reflects on this truth. The mightiest event in history was the Incarnation. God became man. Nothing in fiction is so fantastic as this truth of the Incarnation. Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27. I am the Lord, the God of all the peoples of the world. Is anything too hard for me? In this verse, the prophet Jeremiah conveys a powerful revelation about the nature of God. The declaration begins with a clear identification of God as the Lord, the supreme and sovereign God. The subsequent statement, the God of all the peoples of the world, emphasizes God's universal authority over all nations and people groups. The pivotal question posed in the latter part of the verse carries profound implications. Is anything too hard for me? This rhetorical question is not seeking an answer, but inviting contemplation on the omnipotence of God. It challenges any doubt about the extent of God's power and ability to accomplish the seemingly impossible. Corrie ten Boom, a notable Christian author, echoes the sentiments of Jeremiah 32.27 in her reflection on God's unlimited power. Hold everything in your hands lightly, otherwise it hurts when God pries your fingers open. For believers, Jeremiah 32.27 serves as a source of encouragement and reassurance. It encourages us to trust in God's unlimited power and sovereignty. No challenge we face, no circumstance we encounter, and no problem we confront is beyond God's ability to handle. It invites us to approach our Heavenly Father with confidence, knowing that He is not constrained by human limitations. God's Transformative Power in Scripture Genesis chapter 18 verse 14 is anything too hard for the Lord? I will return about this time next year and Sarah will have a son. This verse from Genesis reaffirms the omnipotence of God. The birth of Isaac to elderly Sarah was humanly impossible. Yet God's transformative power made it a reality. 
It serves as a precursor to the truth that Jesus later declares in Mark chapter 10 verse 27. Charles Spurgeon emphasizes the reliability of God's power. The promises of God are like the oak. They endure all weathers and become more firmly rooted with the tempest. Luke chapter 1 verse 37 For nothing is impossible with God. This concise verse, spoken by the angel Gabriel to Mary, carries a profound and timeless truth. The statement is absolute. Nothing is impossible with God. In the context of the angelic announcement of Mary conceiving the Son of God, this declaration serves to emphasize the divine power and sovereignty over the natural order. The word impossible implies there are no limitations, no challenges and no circumstances that can thwart or hinder God's plans and purposes. It conveys the idea that God operates beyond the constraints of human understanding and possibility. Reflecting on the limitless power of God, A.W. Tozer states, What comes into our minds when we think about God is the most important thing about us. Luke chapter 1 verse 37 invites believers to anchor their faith in the boundless capabilities of God. It encourages us to approach life's challenges, uncertainties and impossibilities with a perspective that acknowledges God's ability to overcome every obstacle. In the narrative, Mary responded with faith and submission, recognizing that God's plans surpass human comprehension. Embracing the impossible with faith. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 And it is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. It's faith that bridges the gap between human limitations and God's possibilities. This verse from Hebrews underscores the importance of trusting in God's existence and his willingness to reward those who earnestly seek him. Our faith transforms the impossible into the realm of divine possibility. Corrie ten Boom, reflecting on the relationship between faith and God's power, said this, Faith sees the invisible, believes the unbelievable, and receives the impossible. Mark chapter 9 verse 23 What do you mean, if I can? Anything is possible if a person believes. In this passage, a father brings his demon-possessed son to Jesus, seeking healing. The father expresses uncertainty, saying, If you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. Jesus responds with a powerful challenge, questioning the doubt implied in the father's words. The phrase, what do you mean, if I can, underscores Jesus' authority and ability. It emphasizes the limitless power of faith and belief. Jesus then makes a profound declaration stating that anything is possible if a person believes. This statement highlights the critical role of faith in accessing God's power. Correlating with this theme of faith, Charles Spurgeon aptly notes, The weakest saint standing on the promises of God is more than a match for all the hosts of darkness. Mark 9 chapter 23 calls believers to examine their faith and trust in God's ability. It challenges any lingering doubts or uncertainties, emphasizing that with faith there are no limits to what God can accomplish. This is a challenge for us to move beyond a mindset of limitation and embrace the expansive possibilities that faith opens before us. Have you ever reflected on areas in your own life where doubt or uncertainty may have crept in? Take some time to intentionally strengthen your faith, anchoring it in the promises of God. Approach challenges with a conviction that through belief anything is possible with God. As we absorb the message of Mark chapter 9 verse 23, may it inspire a deepening of our faith and foster a profound trust in the boundless power of the one in whom we believe. The role of a prayer 
in unlocking God's possibilities. Matthew chapter 21 verse 22. You can pray for anything and if you have faith you will receive it. Prayer is the key that unlocks God's possibilities in our lives. Jesus encourages us to bring our requests to God in faith, trusting that he is both willing and able to respond. Our prayers become a conduit for God's transformative power. Ian Bounds emphasises the centrality of prayer. Prayer is not asking, it is a longing of the soul. It is daily admission of one's weakness. It is better in prayer to have a heart without words than words without a heart. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7 Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. In these verses, the Apostle Paul provides practical guidance on navigating life's challenges. The command, don't worry about anything, addresses the human tendency to be anxious or burdened. Instead, Paul encourages believers to turn to prayer in every situation. This act of entrusting concerns to God is coupled with gratitude for his past faithfulness. The promise that follows is profound. The peace of God, surpassing human comprehension, becomes a guardian for our hearts and minds. This peace is not contingent on our circumstances, but is a result of a deep, trusting relationship with God through Christ. Reflecting on the theme of peace, A.W. Tozer beautifully captures the essence. The man who has God for his treasure has all things in one. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7 invite believers to adopt a posture of prayer, dependence on God. It challenges us to replace worry with intentional and thankful communication with our Heavenly Father. The promise of God's peace stands as a beacon of hope, assuring us that in every circumstance, His peace can guard our hearts and our minds. Consider areas in your life where anxiety may be present. Commit to bringing those concerns to God in prayer, expressing gratitude for his past provision. Then allow his peace to permeate your heart and mind, trusting that it surpasses your own understanding. As we think about Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7, may it inspire a transformative shift from worry to prayer, leading to a profound experience of God's surpassing peace in our lives. Partnership with God in Transformative Acts 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 1 As God's partners, we beg you not to accept this marvellous gift of God's kindness and then ignore it. We are not passive recipients of God's transformative power. We are meant to be active partners. Our collaboration with God is essential for his transformative acts to manifest in our lives and the world around us. D.L. Moody expresses the concept of partnership with God in this way. The world has yet to see what God can do with a man fully consecrated to him. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. In this verse, the Apostle Paul ascribes all glory to God, recognising his immense power and ability. The emphasis is on God's capacity through his mighty power that is active within believers. To achieve results that transcend human imagination and exceed the limits of what we might ask or think. The language used by the Apostle Paul communicates the magnitude of God's ability. The mighty power at work within us, that points to the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit, empowering believers to participate in God's extraordinary plans. To complement this understanding, consider the words of Charles Spurgeon. 
The sovereignty of God is the pillow upon which the child of God rests his head at night, giving perfect peace. Ephesians 3.20 encourages believers to approach God with boldness, knowing that his power transcends our human limitations. It prompts us to dream big, pray earnestly, and trust that God can accomplish far more than we can ever imagine or envision. If you reflect on your own prayers and aspirations, are they limited by your own expectations or doubts? Ephesians 3.20 should challenge you to broaden your perspective and pray with faith, acknowledging that God's power is not confined by your limitations. We all need to seek his guidance and trust in his ability to accomplish exceedingly abundantly beyond all we ask or think. As we think about Ephesians 3.20, may it inspire a renewed sense of awe for God's limitless power and encourage a boldness in our prayers and expectations. As we reflect on Mark chapter 10 verse 27 and the additional insights from other scriptures, let's be reminded that God's transformative power exceeds our comprehension. It beckons us to surrender our limitations and embrace the boundless possibilities available through faith in him. This week, engage in intentional prayer, bringing before God the areas in your life where you seek his transformative power. Embrace your role as a partner with God, actively participating in his marvellous work. May the Lord bless you and keep you in his limitless grace, now and evermore. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to click on the like, subscribe and notify buttons before you go. And if you have time, why not watch another of our videos? Remember, you can connect with us at our website, estreelam.church, and you can also find our podcast on Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. May the Lord bless you. Thanks for watching. God bless. Bye for now.